Last summer, I cut up a huge piece of maple that I'd gotten. I made some nice slabs out of it that I think will make nice coffee table tops or something like that. But some of the smaller pieces, I think either the end or the bottom, I saved as well, wondering if I'd ever do anything with them. I found one of the pieces, and it's now dry, and I think I could make it into something. And I've been thinking for a while that I've really wanted to make a clock, or even a series of clocks. So I thought this off piece of maple might make a nice clock face. And I'd just do something simple with a simple battery-operated clock works and find some simple sort of modern hands. So I cleaned up this piece of maple and I carefully took the bark off. And then at one point I had to get serious about getting the bark off. And I made an attempt to sand the face that I wanted to use for the clock on the disc sander. Since it's such a big surface, it was really hard to get all of it sanded as even the, the tiniest variation is really hard to break down and get into all of the valleys that I need to get into. So I decided I'd just start mounting the clock. And I wanted to do more than just mount the clock on the piece of wood. That, that felt like it would sort of be a campy log cabin sort of log end wood clock. And I didn't really want to do that. So I thought I'd wood turn a spot for the clock to go on the face. So I mounted a face plate on the back. And I mounted the piece on the lathe and discovered it didn't quite fit. It was going to hit the ways of the lathe. So I had to make my piece of wood a little bit smaller. And I didn't want to cut it with a saw because that would leave a, a machined edge. So I, so I broke off a piece of the chisel to keep the natural edge of the piece of wood. I remounted the piece on the lathe and it just fit. So the two faces of the piece of wood aren't parallel. And the thought I had would, was to base everything on the back of the piece of wood. So I'd mount the faceplate on the back and then turn the front and thus making the turning parallel to the back so that it wouldn't be parallel to the front. So I wouldn't get a round turning. I'd get sort of a dished shape. The story for the clock that I was beginning to formulate was that the hands had been on this piece of wood for a long, long time, and they'd worn circles into the face of the piece of wood. And this alludes to, to time in a way. It's, sort of, it, it, it's a clock that tells a story about time, and a very long time. So I turned two circles into the face, one for the minute hand and one for the hour hand. Where the 12 o'clock would be, the circle actually comes out of the face and isn't continuous. I can take the face plate off. And now with more than half of the material of the face removed, I can sand the outer parts of the clock face on the disc sander. If I do this again, to actually make this outer surface have a different kind of texture, so that it feels like the hands are more worn into the surface, I had to make a space on the back to hold the clockworks. So I decided to do it on the drill press with the Forstner bit, and I think after doing this it might have been easier to have done this with the router, and just routed out a space, because this ended up not being as easy as I thought it would be. It worked, but it wasn't pretty, and I had the piece propped up so that the back that I'm working on here was perpendicular to the drill bit. Because again, I was trying to make everything perpendicular to the back. And I had to do a little bit of bad handwork, but it did fit in the end. I cleaned the dust off with mineral spirits. This seems to work very well. And the finish is a linseed beeswax mix. And I like to put it on really thick and let it sit for an hour or so and then wipe off the excess. And as this is all end grain, it needed a really thick layer as it soaked in quite a bit. Then I had to put the clock together, which was straightforward. And it seems to work great. And in the end, it's a clock that tells time, but I also hope it tells a story about time. Thanks for watching.